What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vancouver Canucks and once again winning the Stanley Cup and the Calder Cup. This is the most dominant franchise for four years running, man. Four years running. We've done that. Uh, that's pretty insane. At least I think we won the Calder every single year. We could check that when it comes to the awards, but uh all right, so uh, here's the draft stuff. I don't even think we have a first round uh, pick or anything like that. So we're not really, we're not gonna move up. We're not gonna do anything like that. We have all our players. Okay, we are gonna check out player retirements because this may be important. Yeah, Berchi goes. Oh my goodness, and Hutton. Okay, so I was hoping to use at least Hutton for one more year. I was thinking Berchi would leave, but uh, Berchi and Hutton call it quits. So that's yet yeah, two big important parts of our team leaving. We still got Dougie Fresh if we want to sign him. But uh, he might start declining. But yeah, that's uh, two big blows right there. So it's going to be tough to try to win a fifth in a row like people were calling for. But we're, we are going to try. We are going to try. We want to at least tie that record, man. My goodness, get a half decade under us. <laughs> or maybe we should have quit while we're ahead. Who knows? But uh, here's all the retirements. Yeah, Barrett, she laid his cock to tar. Nugent Hopkins, like when you get into these retirements, you know, you've gone, you've gone pretty far, man. Definitely gone pretty far. <laughs> now, we just, we have won four cups. Now, I'm trying to remember how many years uh, we did Montreal for. Okay, Bobrovsky, okay. I got off to check the year. I can't remember when. We, I think we have one more year. If we could win one more, we will tie our cup record for what we did in Montreal. But I'm not too sure. I can't remember exactly. I think we did like 12 years with them or 13. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's get into the draft. I don't know if we have that. F I think, like I said, I think we don't even have a first rounder. We might have a first rounder. It's going to be late if we do have one. But uh, yeah, I think we're just going to take our picks here. Obviously, it's going to be late. I mean, it's going to be the 30th. No, we don't. Yeah, that's right. We traded it to the Sharks. Um, yeah, for for some. So, we're just going to sim to our picks here. We're not going to not gonna move anything. I mean, let me see. Hold on. What picks do we have? Could we offer some up for any kind of players here? Or should I just take some picks? I mean, if we could, if we could offer up some of our uh, picks here to guys. But, I mean, what I'm looking at here is like, Horvat's gonna start declining, but we still got we still got Holpi, who actually looks like he might have grown a bit. You will levy that'll that that'll probably be our top two now. We should still have Dougie Fresh in the top four for this was last year. No matter what, we'll have to we'll have to sign him to a year, but he's gonna start declining and things like that. But I think he's still good enough. I'm I'm still hoping Mockin maybe jumps this year a bit, at least towards the top four, man. I'd love for that to happen. It might not happen. Nemeth, same thing. We need this guy hopefully to get up towards top four, at least to top six to start growing up to there. But uh, we might need some we might need some placeholders this year, so that's what I'm thinking of. But in that case, maybe we don't want to like sign him immediately. Okay, Besser's pissed morale. So okay, we have a second, two thirds, two fours, a five. Um, I don't really think these will go for anything that we really want when we think about it. I mean, what would we want? We lost Berchi, sure, but I'm pretty sure we'll just replace that internally. Wild can move up. Knight should probably be second in line. <laughs> um, so I'll have Varlamov. Let me just check forwards here. Because that's really what we got to think about. Where is our um, things coming from now? Galliard Galliardi weirdly went down to 84, but he should still stick around 85. I mean, right? I don't know. He's a, he's basically a third line center who can play second line. But yeah, we got Latang still. Besser still, sort of. Yeah, you losing Berchi is a pretty big blow, I won't lie. But we should have guys to jump up. Like, Knight should be second line, but then that kind of... Yeah, we're, we're, that's what we're hoping for. Knight should be second line. It should be Knight, Latang, and Besser. And maybe Besser has a comeback here because we'll be playing with two playmakers. We'll have to see. If not, then maybe we do trade Besser. If he is actually declining, though, that doesn't put us in a great spot because he's still got, he's going to have three years left on that deal. So we'll, we'll want to trade him. And I know people have already been calling to trade him, but he had a pretty damn good playoffs. I know his, he's he wasn't producing well, but I also try to consider, like, we had a lot of points going from a defense, a lot from the third line. So someone always has to take less. Anyway, um, I can't really think of anything that I want to trade those things for. 
I mean, let me sort by overalls here for the defense. Like, maybe we're... All right, so Paris is still going to be a top six guy. Makinen, depending on if he grows. If he grows, maybe he gets up to top four. Nemes might have to do a little bit of in-between stuff this year. But we should still have... We should still have... Like, I, I don't want to trade for, like, a veteran top four guy if if we're going to get, like, growth everywhere. Like, Nemes, he probably will... He's going to at least be top six. Makinen, we don't know. So we might trade him. But if all of a sudden he does jump up, then the other guy we just picked up doesn't have much. We could always sub out Pars, but I think Pars is pretty decent. He's all right. He's not amazing, but he's he's been pretty good for us. So, yeah, I, I think that's something... May, I'll trade... I don't have to trade stuff right now. So I think I'll just want to take take some picks here or pick up just look around i'm gonna take a quick look at the blocks here i got john Tavares on the blocks interesting i don't think he's gonna be that good no i think he was really bad at this point huh oh yeah no he's like suit what the hell oh i'm on defenseman no wonder <laughs> Yeah, like, I could, like, pick, no, no, he's, yeah, no, he's, he's done, pretty much, I'm surprised he didn't retire, yeah, he's still got one, no, he's got another year on that deal, anyway, no, all right, no, let's just take our picks here, I think, um, I don't think the Penguins had anyone, I think all their, yeah, all their guys retired, basically, so, yeah, unfortunate, yeah, let's just, let's just take our picks here, we don't really need to use these picks to trade for anything, so, I'm just gonna take these picks, see what we can get, um, I was considering making tra like a, a trade for like one like kind of rental player with like who's gonna have a year left on his deal, but I could just do that after. We have so many assets, like we still have a bunch of picks and shit that we're we don't really need. We still have a lot of good young players filtering through. But yeah, I'm really kind of hoping Makinen breaks out this year. I know it's highly unlikely that he actually does get a a nice jump here, but hey. I can dream. If not, I, th I still like him for the top six. He does pretty well. Okay, so here's a top six guy in here, hidden. Might as well pick that up. Everything else looking like top nine. I don't know what the goalies are. Could be starter, but we have our goalie situation. So I'd rather get like a playmaker type dude. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So Dublowitz. Uh, Dubli I think that's how you say it, Dublowitz. <laughs> it's not going to be that good. He's going to take a while to develop, but whatever. He's a top six, at least. Red top six. Damn it. How good is he? I f yeah, I, I should have known he'd be red top six in there, though. With all the red top nines and stuff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. I got to check how good this guy is, though. Yeah, 62 overall. That's a chance, but whatever. Still found a top six guy in a sea of top nines and... Would have been not. Ah, oh, damn it. I guess we just missed the top six yellows, whatever. All right. Assume the more of our picks here. I don't think I could have got one of those, like, top four yellow defensemen either. I didn't see anything like that. Okay, there's some more top sixes, maybe some HLs. Okay. We'll see what's here. Uh, wow, I don't know anything. I know there's guaranteed top nine, so I might just go after those. Enforcer! Enforcer, I think you gotta go for the top nine enforcer. Yeah, he's only seventeen. You gotta do it. You gotta go for the top nine enforcer. Do it. Do it. Yeah, red top nine D Georges. How good is this guy? How good is this guy? How quick is he gonna grow? <laughs> awesome. Where is he? I gotta find him. He could be lit. George is where you at? Uh, I didn't pass you late. I must have. Okay, never mind. Come on. There you are. <laughs> 36 overall. It's Trevor Connor all over again. 36 overall. Hype. What's his full name? Let's check him out. David Georgia, 6'3", 219 right now. There we go. <laughs> all right. 36 overall. <laughs> cool. We'll see how he grows. Okay, and now I think we have another third in here, and then we're going to have two fours, so we can get a bunch of different role players and stuff, which we probably will never use in this playthrough. Another enforcer. <laughs> but it's all right. It's fun. It's still fun. Okay, some top nines in here. Power forwards, playmaker, sniper. Probably just go for the power forward. 18. Actually, it looks like he could start off at decent overall, so yeah. 
Is that really Jason Shamara? Okay, no. <laughs> Jamie Shamara. Alright, let's pick him up. He's probably going to be red top nine. Of course, I don't get to see because it's way at the end of the draft. I hate that. It's one downside about winning the cup. Oh, it's a yellow. Oh, my God. We found a yellow top nine and pretty much a sea of red. So, that's really good. I think he's actually pretty decent overall from what it was looking like. I don't know. I saw some 80s. Sure, sure they're green, but that's relatively accurate when they're green. So, let me find this guy. I forgot his name already, but he's a top nine dude. Shamara, six. Okay. Not as high as I thought. I thought he'd be close, like 70, but still, 66 is not bad. Oh, he's just got a pretty damn good shot. Defensive stats are relatively even. Not amazing, but they're relatively even. Cool. I like him. All right. That takes care of that. And now we should have a couple fours as well. So we'll pick all these. And see what we get. More yellow top nines in some reds. So that's weird. It went to like reds. In like the second and the third, now it's back to some yellows. Oh, hey there. Is he from China? <laughs> Isn't that fucking... I don't know. That feels like... I don't know. Oh, my goodness. 80... Oh, no. Sorry. That's yellow. I thought that was 81 white for shot blocking. Yeah, but I'm still kind of liking where it's all going here. I don't know. This guy looks weird. He looks weird enough to kind of be decent. We'll see. Is that... I'm pretty sure that's a Chinese flag. I don't fucking know. But there's two guys here from China. Or wherever that flag is. I'm terrible with flags. I should know flags better. <laughs> yeah, Red, damn it. I was hoping for a yellow, but whatever. Red for this Tamara guy. <laughs> Let's see how good he is. That's kind of funny. <laughs> there he is. 61 at 18, boo. Whatever. Still funny. We're getting top nines still. I was hoping for a yellow there. Not going to lie, but whatever. We still got another one here. Oh, damn it. I was hope I was actually going to pick up a goalie with this next pick because I was like, I could probably get a starter. Is there still another goalie here? No, I fucked it. I fucked it. Ah. Oh, well. Um, probably go with the defensive defense with uh, the red AHL top four because he should be slightly better than this guy. Could be wrong on that, but let's just pick him up. Hopefully, we get a top six out of him, which we could. And I got to do this because he was the last fucking pick. Come on. Top four. Uh, or sorry, what's I saying? Top six. So it is top six, but he is red. Whatever. Still decent for the fourth round. I don't know if we have a fifth. I think we have a fifth, but then we don't have anything else. But whatever. Or maybe we don't have a fifth and we have a sixth and then we don't have anything else. Yeah, okay, no, we did have a fifth. Okay. Bunch of top, or sorry, bottom sixes. So now's the time to find a goalie. Just find one. Even if he's, ugh. Never mind, don't find one because they're all terrible and they're all nowhere to be found. Power forward with high link interest. That's a bottom six guy. This guy, okay, well, I could just go straight up for the top nine, probably. That's probably what I'll do. I don't care about trade value. Just give me the just give me the higher potentials. Ponikarovsky. Yep. Red top red top nine playmaker. No league interest, sure, but... Or I could go... Ooh, wait a sec, wait a sec, because this guy's red HL top two. Now, he actually could be... I actually think this guy's going to be red top four, because if we remember the other guy being a red top six, or he's a yellow top six. I'm actually going to pick this guy. Because, I, like I said, I think he's actually going to be a top four. Because, remember, the other guy was HL. Uh, okay, he's, now he's the same. Damn it. For some reason, I thought he might. Well, it's still tactically better than yellow top six, bottom six. Uh, not really. Uh, kind of, yeah. But, damn it. For some, because the other guy was red HL top four. So, I was kind of thinking that guy would be slightly better. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even need to check him out. All right, well, Sim, I think that's that was the end of our picks, but it's always safer just to do Sim the next pick anyway, just in case. It takes slightly longer to Sim, that's it. But make sure you don't miss anything. All right, so that takes care of that. Nice little draft, very silent draft in there. But now's the time to see what we could do. I don't know if we have any big contracts coming up this year. We might. Uh, we have a couple, oh yeah, we actually have a few, yeah, otter eyes, okay, good thing I have my calculator, cause I will need it, okay, let's see what happens here, okay, Hor okay, yeah, Horvat, probably give him a two year deal, 
he'll probably want a two-year deal anyway. What's <laughs> five years? Get the fuck out. Oh my god. Why? Why? <laughs> Why, Horvat? Why? Really doesn't matter, but <laughs> at this point of the at this point of the year, NHL 18's coming, it really doesn't matter. Three years for you makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But yeah, Holtby, he's gonna be our number one now, basically, so. Let's sign him for sure. Still, get him like close to like 7 mil. It's really good. Especially at this point. Right there. For three years. There you go. Bo Horvat. What do you want? Three years or something? He wants five. That's so stupid. I'll give you three. <laughs> Even though that's stupid to do. I'll still give you three years because who the hell cares? He was probably just going to retire anyway. Oh my god. For like 8 mil. He's worth it though. What am I complaining about? This guy's won fucking four Stanley Cups for me. Alright, I get him for right there for three years. Do it. I don't even care that he's going to... He's probably just going to retire. It's like a semi-realistic contract. Actually take him up until he's like 36. Alright, Varlamov. Probably want two or three years. He wants five years. That makes a bit of sense. Five years, take him up until he's 30. Gets another contract after that. I can't really lower this price at all. Unless I go up and I not really want to do that. So let's just give him everything. Everything that they want... So I could try to save as much money as possible. Gonna have a few guys here worth 8 mil, but that's alright. Because I'm not have to pay them no 9 mil or anything like that. So that's that's nice. Alright, 5 years at that price. Still pretty good. Alright, and Dougie Fresh, 1 year deal for you. Ugh, you goes up a bit, but I don't really... Alright, I'm still gonna hold off on that because I want to see how much I have. I should be, I should be just fine. Timo Meyer, we might actually have to release this year though. Because he's playing fourth line, remember. Jonta, though. Ouch. Yeah, these prices, man. I'll get him for two years just to save a buck. I won't, yeah. Because he is third line. Yeah, these prices, though, they get fucking crazy at the end. But this is pretty much, like, it looks bad. But when you think about, like, all the inflation, this is kind of a third line contract at this point. So, yeah, two years at that, that's fine. Bryce Kreider, one year only. Oh, shit. He actually got better. How'd that even happen? Mocking it, I don't think it's going to get better. Yeah, no, he's definitely... Well, that's kind of weird growth, but I don't think he's getting better. Yeah, I don't think he's getting any better. So whatever, I'll just get him to this really nice deal for a couple years, and then we could, always, we could trade the guy if we want to, but yeah. Under two mil for a top six. I'm perfectly okay with that. There we go. I think we'll want Kreider, but still, I might want to hold off on a couple of these just to see what I'll have left. A bunch of these guys I'll have to hold on to. I'll have to see what I'm able to do again for the AHL. See if I could still get guys. Another, okay, we got to make sure, we, yeah, we, oh my god. We got Maltby again too, okay. Well, Otter, obviously got to sign. Six fucking years of that. <laughs> fucking shit, Otter. <laughs> see, he, you, you can make, he does earn it though. He does fucking earn it. He wants to go until he's 31. God damn it. Oh, these prices are insane. God damn, I almost have to pay him 9 mil. I almost have to pay him 10 mil a year. Fucking shit, I do have to pay him 10 mil a year. <laughs> well, rip to the next GM who has to inherit this, but it's fucking Otterized, so he's fantastic. Yeah, I'll, I'm getting him, though, because he's ridiculously good. Someone we're going to have to leave behind, though. Malt B, can I get you for, like, one year for relatively no? <laughs> Okay, I got advanced today. I got to be real careful about this because I still want Maltby back. Because if we want to win another cup, Maltby has to be on the team. Pumanovs, no. Nah, if if Otterize gets injured, I don't trust Pumanovs. I trust Maltby because he's done it. All right, advanced today here. Let's get some guys back. All right. Okay, pretty much everyone. Yeah, we got everyone. How much money do we have left though? <laughs> That's the big question. Probably not much. Uh, oh, 30, oh, because I also, yeah, I also skipped a couple guys, 33 mil, well, we can get Dougie Fresh for a year, so I will, let's get Dougie Fresh for a year, because it's Dougie Fresh, he will probably decline, but I don't care, still get him for about 7 mil, and he's really freaking good, all right, get him right there for seven, uh, one year, okay, Grandland, he didn't retire, and he's he might he might still decline, but his potential hasn't dropped yet. Again, he's gonna be playing fourth line, so it don't really matter. Most likely, he's listed as a second liner, which is hilarious. Let's get him for another year, man. I was almost 
Plus, like, look at well, look at the prices he's asking for too. It's actually kind of insane what this guy wants at this point. Like that, like I can get him for basically what you could always get him for, which is pretty awesome. I don't think this guy knows economics or inflation, so I'll take it. Let's do it. Another year for you, Granlund. We might be able to even afford Meyer again. But uh, before we do that, I want to get Kreider back. He's a solid fourth liner. We need someone to beat guys up. Now, we do need to be semi-careful because we might want, like I said, a rental guy at some point. Okay, right there for one year. It's a bit much for a fourth liner, but hey. Meyer, I'm still, I'm, I might hold off on slightly. These are, actually, no. I want my HL. I want an NHL team more than an AHL. Yeah, they're all listed to be second liners now, which is hilarious. So they actually could lose morale over time. So I got to be careful. Oh, wow. Okay. I can, <laughs> never mind. I might just let Meyer go. Because he's, that's not worth it for what he is. He mostly plays fourth line, you know? And he's one for like six mil. He's not that good. Def I mean, he's good defensively, but not, not, no, six mil worth. So I'll probably just release Meyer. Rip. Okay. I could probably afford Pumanovs after that, but let's get Malpy back. He is worth, this guy on the other hand is worth the six mil <laughs> just because for what he'll bring to the table come the playoffs. And I know he doesn't play much during the season, but still, if we have an injury, man, if we want, if we're, if we're going to go all in for this, uh, <laughs> for five cups in a row, then we're going to want, we're going to want Malpy. That's just a given. All right, we'll hold off on the other two. We got to see what we're going to have left. Okay, and I know we're going to have to sign probably a couple of these guys. Meyer, I'm most likely just going to release, but I'll still see if I can somehow afford him. Okay, Pars, yes. Oops, Sontag, I'm not sure about, but yes, Pars for sure. Oh, I can, okay, I can get him for really cheap if I go to one year anyway, so let's do that. Uh, five, six, eight. We, can, we get our top six super cheap, and they're pretty damn good together. I mean... Makinen and him always seem to play relatively well together, so get them. One year at that price is really good. Okay, Cullimore is done growing, Sontag. These guys are all AHLers, so they're not priority. All right, let's see. Okay, let's sort by uh, potentials here. Nielsen, 19, almost to 70. He's Canadian. He might might be AHL already so probably sign him yeah probably sign him he probably won't be I think he's more like a, the night guy who's not gonna be uh ready but whatever sign him just in case okay Dublowitz I think this guy's Canadian no say so yeah, he could chill okay I think those are all the main ones yeah now, Shamara was American, so he might be ready. But I might just be content just letting him sit because he's only 66 overall. So I'll just let him sit anyway. Roster slots are an issue. Well, they're not a huge issue, but... Okay, May 1976. This is a guy I do want to sign because even if he's not ready, I mean, you don't want to miss out if he potentially may be. Ha, may be. Okay. <laughs> All right, bowl of rice. I think I got to get this guy back. 22 at... Yeah, he's so good. Yeah, that guy for sure. He's a for sure AHLer. He wants kind of a real deal, but not really because I can get him for this price, and I will because he wants one year. I'll give him one year. Don't want to. Okay, Georges, I think he was American. Now, I'm not too sure if he will play, but he's an enforcer, so you want to sign him. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but just in case I can control where he plays, I want to sign him. <laughs> this guy was freaking Chinese or something. <laughs> So, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to really care about that. But you got to sign the enforcer. Okay. Uh, let's advance another day here. I just want to clean some stuff up. Just see what I'll have left. Contracts-wise, everything. Money-wise. Got to be careful here. Like, we're going to run into a bit of cap trouble. Because, remember, we did just lose Barrett. He was being paid a lot. And we will sort of need to rep spend that cap somewhere. And we're going to have to wait probably till like, free agency to see where we want to spend that cap. All right, we got everything back. Like, I could probably afford Timo Meyer, but then I might not be able to f afford other stuff. We got 18 mil now. Hmm, that's... Uh, it just doesn't feel worth it to spend that on a guy I'm most likely using on the fourth line. Because, like, we still... we Galliardi is the second liner, along with, you know, mo probably Granlund. Or we can use Granlund as a center. 
Because we used that Pittman guy, and he didn't really... I mean, he, they played well together, well enough. Where is this Pittman guy, anyway? <laughs> oh, yeah, seriously, where the fuck is this guy? <laughs> he just disappeared. He, like, plays well, and then he just disappears. What? What is this? Hold on a sec. Where's this Pittman dude? Seriously! Oh, Pittman, there he is. Yeah. The 70 and <laughs> this guy was just playing center all year. I don't think he's going to break out. <laughs> but he played freaking well there, so I don't know. Yeah, we could tactically still afford Meyer by the looks of it. I mean, these guys are all going to cost a bit of money. To, to afford Meyer, we down we downgrade our AHL, which I don't really give a fuck about. I could do that. Depends on what these guys want. Contracts, he wants a real deal. Yeah. Okay. Well, Miraz, what do you want? Really cheap, man. You're so cheap. So fine. I'll get you. Okay. One of these guys, I think. Holy shit, that name. He's Canadian. Cohen, probably Canadian. Yeah, they're both Canadian. So they don't need to be signed. Unless this guy, this guy probably won't. Yeah, he's probably not going to. I'd rather save that roster slot. Okay, let me see. Pacarinen, I could probably find someone better. So, you got to, the cutoff is basically, and then hopefully six in Nemes, and that should be our cutoff. Then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, we don't need Pacarinen. Yep. We don't need Packer in. If we want to sign someone else, we could sign someone else. So we'll release him. Goalie-wise, I think we should get Pumanovs back. Just release Marmonland at this point. He's done. Uh, old man and Pumanovs. Yep. Get Pumanovs. <laughs> we want to keep our AHL team strong. Pumanovs is a guy. All right. 1.4 around there. I can get him for. Which will be a lot less if when we send them down. So, yeah, just do it. Just do it. Okay. Yeah, still going to decide on Meyer. I don't know if that six fucking mil is worth it. or It'll be around five or so mil, but still. Sontag was good. And he's I think he's also decent defensively. Not really. Hmm. Well, he's... He, I mean, when you add it all up, he's kind of like a Bryce Kreider kind of guy. So, kind of. And he's pretty good offense. He's good for AHL. He could be a guy to call up. We used him once before. Osner, yeah, definitely. AHL, most likely, but again, we can get him for really cheap, so do it. That's basically a two-way deal. Colin Moore, maybe the same thing. Yeah, I might, I'm going to do math on this one, though, because I'm not too sure what that exactly will be. Yeah. You can still get him for pretty cheap, so... Yeah, just might as well get them. They can sit if if any if it comes down to that. All right, that was close enough to one mil. I don't think it was close enough to get down one more. Nicolition, maybe not you. <laughs> oh my gosh! If he wants a two-way deal, I'll sign him. If he doesn't, mm, I think I'll let him go. I might be able to find some better guys for like two-way deals. So. He's not in, he's pretty damn good. Oh, he's so good offensively, though, but he didn't seem to produce that well in the playoffs. I don't know where he was playing, but McElrath, yes, because this guy's won like trophy after trophy and he still wants a ridiculously easy deal. He's, but this guy's like always produced well. Yeah, see, look at that shit in the playoffs. He's ridiculous. So, yes, him for sure. Pody didn't do anything. I think he just, yeah, he only played a couple games, I'm pretty sure. And he took penalties. So this guy, while his defensive stats are really good, he could play like bottom time. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's get him. He should want a two-way. Yeah, he does. I'll just get you for one year, though. Yeah, I can get him for the least amount for just for one year. Do it. London. I don't think we even played this guy. He's not great defensively. He's okay offensively. I don't really think we played him, though. So I could release him, pick up some other guys. Yeah, might be time to let this guy go. <clears throat> I 
Let's advance a day. I want to see the cash situation. I want to see it. Got to be careful here. Ugh, Jesus. <laughs> Sneezing. My throat's going all weird. What the hell? Should get everyone here. Which we do. And we should still have 15 mil. Well, it'll probably go less than that because it doesn't take into account guys you're sending down. So, okay, no, I was right. Over 15. Cut. But remember, we might want to spend some of that on, like, a top guy. Now, we could sign this guy. Still have about 10 mil to work with. However, we'd have to trade for someone. Most likely couldn't get someone in free agency. Which we might not want to do anyway just for the sole purpose of... Um, what am I trying to say? The sole purpose for, like... Uh, saving money, basically, and, like, seeing our growth to see if anyone does step up and see if Makinen might actually get a jump, which he probably is not, but in that case, we, we'll see what Nemes jumps, and then we'll decide, do we want another rental top four to spot fill, or or is he not going to grow into that role, or, or what? So, yeah. We'd still have 10 mil if we sign Meyer over that. Okay, Nikolich, and I'll probably let go. As good as he is, he didn't seem to do well in the playoffs, Probably add him down like the third or fourth line or something. Well, he does have really good shot and stuff like that. It didn't seem like he did too well. So let's free up a bit of space. Maybe get some more guys in here. So we'll release him. And London. I might hold on to him because he'll want a two-way deal for like a year. Let's let's do that. I'll hold on to him just in case. Because, all right, I'll show you. My logic behind this is he's good offensively. He's still got a decent shot. And he's, you know, 77, so I can, he's not great defensively or anything, but he's a guy who could fill in somewhere, and he didn't play. I don't think he played at all. So if we're going to get rid of that other guy, this guy could fill in somewhere else. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just play him for a year. Just see. It's two-way deals. not like it's the biggest deal. And we got rid of the other guy, so. And everyone else, I think we're just holding off on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just let them do their thing wherever they are. You can play in wherever the hell you are. <laughs> all right, goalie-wise, we're all set. Everything else, we should be all set. It's just to decide on Meyer. It's so much for a fourth liner, but we'll still have another 10 mil if we only get him for one year. We don't have to... Yeah, Wild's still on the rookie contract. We can do it. We really can. We really could do it. Fuck it. Fuck it, Timo. <laughs> Gonna pay this guy almost goddamn six mil to play on the fourth line. <laughs> it's so dumb. I could probably get him for longer just to save money. Oh my god, that is basically six mil. Now I'm really not sure about this. If I gave him three years, which I might actually do just to save money, he's still solid and he st would still be tradable. Yeah, it's like five mil. That's the difference between five. Like, and he's not gonna decline. Like, you don't want to sign. You usually depth guys long term, but for a guy like this, I don't know, man. Thing is that, yeah, we will have to sign someone next year. But we should have. We should be. Hamilton should retire, so you got to consider that. He's also on one year, so it's not the worst thing having this guy locked in three years. He can always play third line too, which is this is a bit of an in between contract and stuff. But it's that's just too much of a jump. And he's, he's really, uh, it's, we can afford it, so fuck it. We'll still have 10 mil, man. 10 mil plus whatever we're going to lose next year. We might even trade off Besser, but we're probably going to lose Hamilton. Um, yeah, we might even lose Granlund, which is another few mil. So, Meyer is someone we probably will need, because he might actually will probably be playing third line by the next year. Maybe even this year. We'll have to see. But yeah, fuck it. Get Meyer. He's been great for us. He's done well. Okay, now I think that's it. Got those two guys signed. Everyone else we're holding off on. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, I think we're done here. We can just go to the uh, free agency now and see what's available. You guys can chime in. And yeah, we'll see what happens here. All right, so I'm into the free agency now. We should sign, yep, Meyer and London. Okay, and that is it. So let's see who is going to be available here. We only have a few roster slots, mind you. Like, I think like five or something. Okay, and 11 mil cap space to work with. And Matthew Kachuk is in free agency. Interesting. Why? <laughs> Why is Matthew Kachuk in free agency? It's hilarious. 
Not really hilarious, but it is kind of. It's listed as a second liner, too. Didn't do too much in the playoffs, but hey. Ugh, his passing's really low. His shot's not even that good. He didn't even get... Yeah. Ah, I don't like him. His poise is great, don't get me wrong, but... Discipline's low, aggressiveness is high, so we'll take penalties. His old defense is fantastic, I won't lie, but... His offensive skills are a bit lackluster. I mean, the offensive awareness is great, but that passing... And that shot, the accuracy is really low, so... I'd prefer, like, a Forsberg. But he wants five years, you know? Mirko Mueller, no thanks. Taylor Hall, rental. Rental hype, but yeah. Um... Kachuk was the only one that really jumped out, and he doesn't really jump out too, too much. So, I think we might just let, might as well let everyone else fight over him. We don't really need Kachuk. Yeah. As much as I love the dude in real life, no. Nah, I don't think we really need him. Forsberg's declining. He wants five years. Some team will probably give it to him. Like fucking idiots. I, I just I almost want to sign him for a year just to save him from themselves. But <laughs> whatever. I, I couldn't afford to sign him for just one year. Yeah, uh, I don't think we'll be signing any of these guys. Like I said, if we want the guys, we'll have to trade for them. Besides, we're, we're thinking Knight's going to grow up, grow anyway. So if we were to sign someone, it'd probably be someone like Taylor Hall, who would play like third line, you know? And even then, we'd have Galliardi, Granlin, like, uh, unless we had Pitten go down. Hmm, Taylor Hall's an interesting idea, actually. He could be like that Stamkos kind of guy. Still really good poise, still really good offensive skills. Shot has gone down, of course. But hey, maybe. Maybe! Okay. Let's sort by age here, see if there's a few guys we want to pick up. 19 to 71. 19 to 77, I think that's a fucking given. Uh, 19 to 75, yep. <laughs> These two guys for sure yell. This, oh, his name's, oh, never mind, Yellen Veshi, and this guy's name's Champion, so can we even pass up on that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this Veshi guy is a, that's no-brainer, like, that's a no-brainer, you gotta get that guy. Vessi Yell, for sure, Man, damn, even, damn, there's some great stuff here. Might even want to free up some more space. Holy crap, there's a lot of good prospects. At this point, I would pick and choose guys over, like, 75 overall if I can get them. Holy crap, 20 at 80 overall already. What are you doing? It's not great defensively, but his offense. What the hell? How would you let that guy go? That's ridiculous. There's hella guys here, man. 76. Oh, okay, he's a yeah, red bottom six. But at 76 already, I mean, how good do you need him? Uh, if only his defensive awareness was better. As a grinder, that would have been so good. Still consider him, though. Still would consider him. Jesus, man. There are some really good guys in there. Yep, okay. So, a lot of good prospects. I'm just going to say that. A lot of good prospects. Jesus. Well, there you have it. We have plenty. Plenty of choices in there. For nice prospects. And we still have 10 mil to get some kind of rental player. We don't... I'm, I'm a little on the fence about signing Taylor Hall. Because if anything, we'd be playing him third line. Whereas we might need, you know, that spot filler top four if Nemes doesn't get up there. He might grow into the role over time. But, yeah, it's a... It's a bit of a... You, you don't know for sure, you know? So, hmm. I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know about that. We could sign him, but then we really limit ourselves for other stuff that we might want to pick up. We could always make him retain something on a top four guy, but then there's we'd have to ship off cap to also get him. It's all possible, so let me know. Let me know. Weigh the pros and cons. Get back to me. And um, has, I'm expecting a nice little list of prospects because I will forget. <laughs> even though I'll probably remember as soon as I see all those high 70s and even an 80 at 20, which was fantastic. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think. All right, this is uh, this was a good video though. So remember to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.